Hey folks, Quillian here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. We're in the Quillian bureaucracy, and we're just, you know, happily and pacifistically developing our worlds over here. Ooh, level 4. We still don't have a level 5 scientist. It does get a little bit easier because you do get more, um, you know, higher lifespan tech and things like that. So eventually getting the, the higher level scientist for some of those hard projects are going to kick in, but it does take a little while to get there. I'm just going to queue up a whole bunch of little jobs here for a construction ship, keep them busy for a while. There's actually got enough territory that's got some bits to be improved that we may want to consider getting a second one, but I don't know. I don't know. Another level 4 guy. Great. You guys are auto-exploring around, which is lovely. Tile blocker cleared. Uh, upgrades waiting. Let's go ahead and do that and that. We still just have the physics lab and that's okay. Over here, well, yeah, sure, more minerals. Still don't have infinity energy, though. Oh, you are really cranky. We can actually use more energy here. Can I get a little swappy do? You're still not quite that keen. Is there... There's really nothing we can do for you. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me just clear a tile blocker here, just while I'm there. You have much unemployment. There you go. Unity thingy. And... You don't have a ton of minerals on this planet. Well... Because you've got these braces here. I'm just wondering if a mineral processing plant is worth it. What about an energy grid? Actually, there's enough energy, I'd say, to make an energy grid worthwhile. Power plant there, energy grid here. Okay, that's good. So everyone's still building. Minerals are coming in like hotcakes. System, System survey, construction, mm hmm, good stuff. Ooh, lots of energy there if we end up grabbing it. So, yeah, so terraform. I mean, we don't have the tech, but it might be worth going to work on more of that as soon as we can. Um, that is a very powerful and active building, so I think. I mean, at the very least, we're going to do that, clearly. You know what? Keep the science flowing, or the money flowing. We need the science, too, but right now, the energy actually will be really handy for us. We're well below our fleet capacity, but I'm not feeling pressure to build up. I don't know. There might be some threats. What are these guys like? They really hate me. Hostile. Superior fleet power, but not necessarily that, they, that we couldn't reach there. But we should probably look into that. Grand Fleet Edict is nice. The Space Academy, I may end up working with. I don't know. Um, okay, unlock share the burden. Amoeba flagella. Eh. More tile blockers is always good. We don't need naval capacity right now. Max influence from factions. Are we getting any? Uh, 0.5. I think we're going to get more tile blocker unlocks. So that's always nice. They're relatively cheap. And we do have some planets that are stuck with tile blockers. Okay, I don't think we care about any of these messages. Okay, so Annex 01, sure, non-aggression is fine, again, I, defensive pact, no, I don't want a defensive pact, but we got an invasion going over here, but we did build some defensive troops, we don't have a general in this group, uh, I think we're ahead, not by much, but I think we are ahead here. Lots of text kicking in. Curator lab. Oh, yeah, we have to do our science ship. Curator archaeology lab. I mean, uh, more reactor... No, we can take that. It's a nice rare thing. It's cool. Um, I do want the droid tech. Explosive weapon damage. Oh, that's pretty sexy. No, we want droid tech. You can always start colonizing planets with droids, too. Okay. Okay. Lots of people pretty heavily injured, but yeah, we're okay for now. They're still pretty cranky. I don't know how long they'll stay, like, research agreements. I like it. Sure, why not? Oh, that's one that expired. Leader gain level. Okay, that's fine. Ships are still busy shipping. Oh, my science ship. Hold on. Bay. Oh, Frontier Hospital. That's well worth it. 
Um, ship design, ship designer, ship designer. Science ship. There we go. 25% bonus speed. And we'll get the thing. And we'll get the thing. And then you'll need some energy. Is there like, what's the price difference? Okay, so it's more efficient to go with the lower tier ones. Okay. Upgrade you. Uh, may as well upgrade the construction ship, actually, I suppose, to the faster engines. The sensors aren't bad either, just for some extra range. I suppose we can throw some armor on these things, too, just so they don't die instantly. Why not, right? Here, we'll throw some regenerative hull tissue in there. Level 3 armor. Let me do that. Let me do that for the uh, science ship as well. Just a little bit of protection. What the hell, right? Um, so we don't have to worry about getting them repaired or anything. They'll just heal themselves up over time. Yeah, I like that. So, we're gonna... I'll let you finish. Upgrade. Upgrade. Yeah, just work on... Okay, halt. Build the research station and mining station in this system, and then we'll go and get you upgraded after that. I don't know if I can ship queue it or not. No, I don't want a defensive pact. Go away. That would just draw me into wars, and I am clearly a pacifist, as I keep insisting. I don't know why people don't believe me when I say that, but I'm a pacifist, so I don't want to fight in wars. It's not complicated, come on. Um, robot. Just maybe put a science lab on this. Sure, I'm going to move you there. And robot. Okay. And I realize that's going to be an unemployed person, so we lose some efficiency now, but then I don't have to worry about babysitting quite as closely. Uh, may as well get you... There's a lot of food here, but I guess that's why I called it the cafeteria. Um, you can be mining, though. And even this one can be mining. We have crazy amounts of food. Are you all built up? I think so. I think everything's got a planet, or a, a building. Ship upgrade complete. Excellent. You're cool. We're going to remove that just so that it's done. You are going to get a Batharan power plant. Um... Sure, I guess the farm still makes sense. The tiles where we have people, though, all have buildings right now. Okay. Upgrade the Unity Monument. And that, sure. And over here, you have a Frontier Outpost already. So yeah, just build a Science Lab on that. Take advantage of it. I will move you down here. IT Department. You're cranky, but I'll upgrade your building anyway. See how nice I am? Stop being cranky. Clear some blockers. Okay. What's this? Oh! Um, how's it buzz? Oh, you need another donation. I will give you more minerals. These starving artists. Curator. Oh, that's right! I forgot I got that. So do we have another lab? I mean, I guess our science ships are just sitting idle, so we can go ahead and take a moment. Um, so right now I have 25% more survey speed. So survey speed is nice, but I think we're going to take the discovery and failure risk reduction. Let's do that. Upgrade, upgrade. Construction ship is idle. You're going to go and upgrade as well. New research is going to be... Improved assist research is really nice. Shield hit points. I mean, we don't do shields yet, but we will at some point. It's really quite cheap, too. And it gives us something we can maybe trade. I'll do that. There's a finite number of the, you know, discover resource techs, so... Um, minerals or energy over here? Because I think we have the building for both of them. I think minerals. Because while it's easy to sort of find yourself short on energy at, early on, at some point, you, you're you kind of good. Do we have a project that we can do? 
Oh, right over here. You. Come here. Research that. And then you can go back to auto-explore. Oh, I think I over overrode that. Didn't realize we canceled the cube. Yeah, we have enough of that, but I'm waiting for some sort of extra tech to unlock something cool there. Frontier Hospital will give us lots of upgrade opportunities. I think these guys just expanded over here. Construction ship, okay. I'm going to get you to research mine. Mine... Mine and research. So is it time for more expansion? Yeah, let's go ahead and fill that in. I mean, we've got some sector limit available. Oh, we've got some vapors for habitability, orbital farms for just free food, cheaper ship discount. Um, you know what? We'll take the cheaper ship upgrade cost because I think time is also based on that. I don't know if that's literally true, but I think so. It is colonizable. Um, sort by cost, we get a sense of distance. This arid world. It's only 60%. Where is this? Huh. Hmm. Well, we can only do three right now. I guess the other thing I could do is sort by size. But again, keep in mind the distance a little bit. So that's kind of an awkward place to go and settle over there. Yeah, no, that's no good. Where is this? Oh, that's really good. Blorg's Bane. Hey, hey! Uh, this is actually really good. We want to settle this tropical world for sure. We got some, like, weird scouting info there. So what are you? You've got the weak magnetic field. No, that's fine. Uh, probably from central office. And that's going to be okay. And we want to drop you on an energy sector. So we're going to drop you there. Bam. Um, and I guess we can expand more than one place at once. Might tank our economy a little bit, but not too badly. Where are you? That is not in a convenient place at all. Or you. I guess I should be looking at the energy cost. So we got the arid worlds. Like, not the energy cost, but the um, this thing. All right, so Sheridan, yeah, that's that one. Okay, so we're going to do this one. What kind of crap you got going on? Bleak. Mm, it's a little disappointing. Um, I guess we'll do it from QR department. And we'll just drop you there. That's Sheridan. It's only size 10 ocean world. Uh, low gravity is fine, but... Maybe we'll do Paya. Yeah, I guess we haven't scouted some of these things. Paya? Okay, hold on. No, Paya, I, th I thought this was my territory. No, that's inconvenient, so we're not going to do that. Incoming. Size 10 Ocean World. Yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. Sure, active sensor links are fine. Research complete. Gas refining. An accelerator, deflector, cold fusion reactor. I mean, we're going to need some of this for, like, our stronger ships. Let's go ahead and grab that. And engineering-wise, start unlocking auto cannons. They're pretty powerful. Or we can just unlock battleship tech. Takes a while, but might be well, well worthwhile. If we can start, um, if we can have the, the tech to build battleships a little sooner than people might expect, it's going to be really useful in case some opponents come knocking. Do we, and we're not making a ton of influence, but do we want to go and put a frontier outpost somewhere here? To sort of block this area off. Oh, hello. Science ship? You're going to go to Yawn over here. We're going to settle that. And then, yes, we definitely need to make sure to reserve this path. We'll probably settle the Savannah world as well. I don't know how habitable it'll be. This is size 20 top. Am I sending someone over here? Yeah, we should do that. Um, we're not going to use droids, although it is nice that we can start 
considering that. Oh, planet already hit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So we're going there, and we're going to grab that. Yeah, that's going to be really handy-dandy. Uh, assuming we can get there before these borders grow. Construction complete. Construction complete. Hmm. Surface. I believe we've got... Special project. Complete. Special project. What you got? Whoa! Nice stuff! Hmm. Alien civilization. Yeah, that's a lot of great stuff. Upgrade you. Upgrade that. Cranky planet. Still. Let's do it. Uh, lots of employed people over here. Unity monument. Um, this is mostly just going to be a science-y kind of place. RIT department here. Go ahead and bid that. Clear. Oh, you're already there. Okay. Idle science ship. Oh, that was because I sent you to do the project. Yeah. I'm going to get you to survey this system then, please. But yeah, if we go and settle this, and we are working our way over there, hopefully we can get there soon enough, then we're going to be mostly golden. It'll be tempted to draw a colony ship maybe here, or a frontier outpost there. But I don't think I'm going to rush it. Oh man, those borders are growing quickly. Xenozoo is awesome if we find the right kind of building. We do have plenty of blockers, and this is dirt cheap to pick up. You know what? I'm going to grab the Xenozoo just in case we find some critters. And I'm going to get you to pre-construct another colony ship, my friend. I was getting damn close, but our colony ship is on the way now. I think it's probably this thing. Yeah. It's getting damn close. You're done that. Good. Uh, I should survey this one because it's going to fall within my borders real fast. Then we'll probably put you on auto-explore at that point. Gains trait. Fleet logistician. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Oh my god, that's going to be tight. I and mean, there's a limit to how much this will expand. Cold fusion reactor. Um, yeah, let's get the next tier of point defense ready, just in case something comes up for that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my edict over to physics. Because we have a higher base of that. Actually, we have more in society. No, that's okay. We'll rush this because it's more because I the multiplier I want on the highest base as possible but it's pretty close and there we go done so we've got this so we won't get cut off that's gonna be wonderful declared war da 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 da, -da. alright and then we've got a colony ship that's just idle um, I think you are oh yeah you're going over here buddy that's what you're doing colonize this ship Land there. This is going to be amazing. What a good little snatch here. So, there's a possibility we'll still need to do something here to make sure that we don't get cut off partway through. I think we've got open borders with these guys. Uh, no, we don't. They hate each other. We're rivals. I'm wrong. Okay, we might be going to war with these guys. Defensive war. That's all. I think I should be building up my fleet. Um, did we get the bat? No, we don't have the battleship tech yet, and it's quite far away. So, let me just build up a bunch of destroyers then. Just so that we're not caught completely with our pants down. Oh, some of that. Okay. More tile blocker tech. Army upkeep. Actually, that would save us a few bucks. Food output wouldn't be bad either, though. I mean, right now we're sitting on plenty, but we are expanding. Okay, science ship, automatic. Automatic. Thank you. Ah, 
Time of your patronage coming to an end, but we would be remiss not to ask, would you care to renew your subscription to the finest arts and crafts in the galaxy? Yep. More monthly unity at a cost of some energy credits. I'm totally happy with that. Um, okay, you're coming over here. Good. Because I was going to say, we really should explore the system where we've got a like, goddamn planet. Um, and then we'll probably send the, uh, the construction ship over here, too. Yeah, I wonder if we should settle this just to get everything. Oh, we had a trade deal. No. See, I still don't like these pop-ups. There's too much spam from other civilizations, and... Unless you hear the audio of, like, trade deal incoming, which usually when I'm recording my own personal audio is relatively low, so it doesn't echo. So it's really easy to miss. Colonization in progress. Okay, that's that. Yeah, it's just a question of this bit. proper colony. Yay! So, we're going to rename you to um What's your deal? Yeah, nothing really stands out right away. Um You're going to be, oh, you're going to be the um uh, you know, we're right on the border, so you're going to be public relations. You're a public relations department right over here on the border where these dudes are and then we're gonna go and robot into mine but uh, they're, they're droids now actually droid into mine we'll get started with that and it worked really good on food so i'm actually gonna move you to here and we're gonna start on a mine there too and we'll probably move you to some other thing as we get more robots going on there i mean it's not like we're gonna have some sort of crazed robot uprising that would never happen. I mean, when it's pure food, may as well just do that. You would like to buy one of our Teladar crystals for kinetic weapon damage. Mm, do we have two of them? We do. 15 years. No, that's, that's not good enough. 600 crystals. That's like four months worth of stuff for some deal that's going to last 15 years and give them a huge bonus. Leader lifespan is going to be really good, and it leads to some interesting unlocks down the road, including things that might be related to various tradition stuff. There we go. That's done. Perfect. Oh, and that's my military fleet. That's fine. Construction ship. So I'm just going to queue up and tell you to come over here. That's a lot of stations. Who just died? Oh, our admiral died. 76. Okay. Well, that happens. Upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, well, why don't you go here instead of being unemployed? I will give you a lab to work in. And this robot needs a... Not a mineral processing plant. I don't think it's worth on this planet. Construction complete. Okay. Exper expertise minerals. More expertise is nice. So everyone's busy. That's great. Not all of our plans are doing things. We do have a crap ton of minerals. Why did you stop being able to build a research lab here? Construction. I don't know. You're fine, though. Ah, oh, we do have some Petharan dust. Now, we can reach that. Probably the border will reach us as is. I should probably just settle this planet. Oh, it's 40% for us. Oh, it's going to be this species. 18%. Yeah, okay, that'll do. You colonize over there. And maybe we'll do, we'll expand that sector or something. So yeah, we'll grab that. Probably that'll make everything connect up. And I'm going to be okay with that. System survey complete. Construction complete. Oh, these guys have become pacifists. Oh, all right. Good for them. Pacifist is the way. That's what I keep telling Keep telling everyone. I mean, being a pacifist is awesome. Um, you know, going to war is silly. Why would anyone ever do that? At least publicly and outwardly. Alpine world might not be nice and bad to colonize at some point. Okay. Colony over here. So yeah, we'll have to build some sectors again soon. Despite our nine freaking direct um, governance option, which is pretty crazy. 
Yeah, the leader lifespan is going to make a big difference. Those extra 10 years are going to be huge. Ancient survey marker, plus four minerals. Oh, that's over here. Oh, that's not bad. Arid world over there. 60% habitable, prob probably by that other species. That's not too shabby. Yeah, having access to the second species is good. And, of course, we can go and send robots out to these things, too. The thing is that they'll be good at getting minerals. The droids are not still not good at getting energy or science, although things will change later if we want to keep going further down the, uh, the robot tech tree. Missing in action. Oh, you fuckers. I can't believe you did that. I can't believe they did that. So it's to be war then. <laughs> Was that like two seconds ago just talking about the pacifism thing again? I can't believe these bastards did that. Because these guys are totally cut off. Which isn't necessarily in the world. Well, again, although... Hang on. Oh, no, no. That's right. We hate each other. I suppose I could end rivalry. <laughs> so it's to be war then. Yep. I think so. What? It's, it's a colony ship that got lost. Where was it going? Oh, right. These are the guys with the same flag. Wait. Did you colonize the planet I was going to colonize? That's what happened. I was going to colonize this place. You shits. This is even worse than I thought. I thought they just grabbed something I didn't care about. If I decided like two seconds sooner to do it, but I don't know. It's always impossible to know that. Wow. Wow. So, let's see here. Their fleet power is equivalent to mine now, while I don't have much of a fleet. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wreck their face. We're going to wreck their face. So yeah, so we definitely can't enter their territory. I can go to Blorg's Bane though, which is interesting. I can also end up here. Like I'm wondering, I don't know how big our sensor area is on our ships. If we could spot something. I guess to be able to scan the ships, we need to be in the same system, so that's not gonna work. Never mind. Go ahead, you can return. Apologize, sadly reach creative roadblock. Demand a refund. No, it's fine. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Just give me my unity boost. It's fine. These bastards. Okay, so actually, no. I don't have to be adjacent. As long as it's within sensor range, I can actually scan them. So they're using a combination of armor and and shields. I mean, this is just their construction ship, but most likely that's going to be the case. They've got wormhole tech so they can bop around and do different things like that. They've got a wormhole generator here. If we explode that, we'll have a fair amount of freedom over in this area. Okay. This construction ship, since you're going to be stuck in the system for a little while. Uh, okay, public relations. Oops. Make sure to get that going there. And you're not a full colony yet, are you? Oh, you. Okay. We got you going on there. Did we look at your surface stuff? No, we never did. Uh, clear. Droid. Build some droid armies too. Basic mines. Um, may as well farm that. Let's put you over here on the energy thing. How much energy is here? Not very much. Although we could still just build it on the NP spots. But I'm thinking heavy science. Oh, Yon Prime needs to be, um, so this is going to be the research and development planet over here. Did we get our colony ship back? We did. Okay, so let's use the expansion planner for the Sabin race. Probably want to do one of the biggest pop ones, though. That's going to be over here? Yeah, that's fine. 
Okay. Yeah, I know it's only 60%. We'll see what we can do in the future. Drop you over here. <clears throat> so, this is going to be... Um, what department is this going to be? I got a list of, like, um, standard uh, business departments and things like that. It's an arid planet. This has got a lot of stuff going on here. This could be a franchise office. I mean, this would be the first Sabin planet that's not one of our annexes. So you know what? This will be the this will be a franchise. I will just call it the the Borbo franchise for this. Yeah, I like that. Um, and Borbo Borbo is over here. So yeah, we'll probably just extend the sector over there because it's still Sabin. So it kind of makes sense, you know. Maybe we can put a Sabin in charge of that at some point. That would be kind of nifty. Yeah, something like that. God damn it! So it's to be war then. Alright. No, that's fine. Everything's okay. Uh, I guess we're going to put a cut in here. <laughs> and we're going to do another ethical swappy do. Um, by spending a whole crap ton of influence so we can declare war. I mean, maybe they can declare war on us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can I just, like... Can I somehow just incite them to declare war on me? And wouldn't that be lovely? I'm actually wondering if I should start just filling up some of these little... Uh, bits and bobs over here. You actually have a lot of energy on this planet, so you should have one energy grid. What I'm going to do is just replace this one. Oh, that was probably a, a nothing square, actually. Yeah, I'll replace you anyway with an energy grid. I think that's going to be good. Uh, we're going to clear all the blockers. I should clear the ones with stuff first, but not really a big deal. Yeah, see? <laughs> all this micromanagement. This is why they introduced sectors in the game. So that you wouldn't have to do this for so many planets. And then people are like, no, but I, w I need to micromanage all the things. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm just as guilty of it as like designing a race here where I got access to all the things. Hey, just more habitability! Which I need because I've, you know, spent four freaking trait points on getting bonus habitability stuff. Um, more habitability. Yeah, see, I won't be doing this again. But, um... More block removal? I mean, this still helps the other race, so actually I will throw that down. That's going to be okay. And we've got a couple of planets that aren't max habitability because they're not continental, so there's going to be a benefit to it. These guys are pretty high tech-wise, which is nice. We've got a lot of unity stored. I wonder, can I start on, um... I guess I could probably just unlock something else. That's true. Harmony. Oh, here we go. Let's get a bunch of happiness. Less consumer goods, lifespan... Unrest. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're going to adopt you. Oh, right, that's... Because you don't actually spend the unity points on the ascension perk. That's right. Okay. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll grab this for reduced unrest. It's going to be super handy. All right, we're going to put a cut in here. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.